हेलो फ्रेंड्स थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर क्लास एट्थ एंड अबव स्टूडेंट्स एंड ऑब्वियसली इन कॉम्पिटिशन यू फाइंड दीज क्वेश्चन वेरी वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली सो लेट सी हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व दैम यूजिंग द ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच सो आई एम टेकिंग अप द ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक बिहाइंड द स्टेप्स आई एम यूजिंग टू सॉल्व दैम सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन गोज लाइक दिस हंड्रेड एग्स व बॉट फॉर रुपीज फिफ्टी सो कॉस्ट प्राइज ऑफ हंड्रेड एग्स इज रुपीज फिफ्टी and out of these four eggs were found rotten so remaining eggs were sold at the rate of rupees 8.5 that is 8 rupees 50 paisa per dozen and you need to find a gain or loss percent in this transaction now see we are given that the cost price of 100 eggs is rupees 50 so we need we know the cost price of One egg, obviously, from this. So CP of one egg is fifty upon hundred, so that is zero point five or one by two rupees. So this is one thing. Now, if four eggs were found rotten, they cannot be sold. So remaining eggs are hundred minus four, that is ninety six. So the selling price of Now see, we are given that they are sold at rupees eight point five per dozen. So selling price of twelve eggs is given as rupees eight point five zero. So we need this uh, data now, and this data will work for us to get to the answer. Now SP of twelve eggs is this much. So SP of one egg is rupees. 8.50 upon 12. So how many eggs are sold? SP of 96 eggs because four are rotten out of 100. So 96 are sold. So that is rupees 8.50 upon 12 into 96. So this is exactly eight times. And 8 into 0.5 is 4. 8 into 8 is 64. So 64 plus 4 gives us rupees 68 as the selling price of 96. X. Now, sixty-eight rupees are obtained on selling, and uh, the cost was rupees fifty. So, sixty-eight is obviously greater than rupees fifty. So, here selling price is coming out to be greater than cost price. That implies we have gain, and how much gain? That is sixty-eight minus fifty, which is so rupees eighteen. So, we have eighteen rupees. gain on the transaction and obviously gain is always calculated on the cost price what is gain percent gain percent is gain upon cp into 100 so very easy calculation this is 36% gain which is the answer of this question so i have written this cost price of one egg here just to for the understanding purpose even if we don't write this step other steps will get to the answer very easily so this is the first question so what is the logic behind uh, solving this question easily is like cost price of 100 items is already given so we need just the selling price of uh, remaining x which are sold at the rate of 8.50 per dozen so once we find the selling price of those x so we need to compare whether that selling price and the cost price of the 100 x uh, that is the amount spent on the x which of them is greater if the selling price is greater then there is gain and if cost price is greater then there is loss now let's see the second question quite similar to the first one now there is a person who brings or purchases pencils at 10 for rupees 8 so for rupees 8 he is bringing 10 so cp of 10 pencils Is rupees eight. Now, if CP of ten pencils is rupees eight, now here we need to read the question once. See, we have been given that ten for rupees eight and eight for rupees ten. So, whenever this situation arises, we need to assume the total number of pencils or the objects. How many pencils or or the objects are bought? So these two numbers are common. So just take the LCM of ten and eight. 
10 and 8 LCM is uh, okay, 20, 30, 40. This is 40 is the LCM. So just assume that let number of pencils equal to 40. Now this is one step you need to remember for solving these type of questions. So selling price of 10 pencils is given as rupees 8. So how do you find the uh, sorry cost price? So cost price of 40 pencils because we have assumed them to be 40. For one pencil it will be 8 upon 10. For 40 it will be multiplied by 40. So this is rupees 32. So cost price of 40 pencils we have found out to be rupees 32. Now similarly we need to find the selling price of 40 pencils. How do you do that? That is to be done by using the second condition. Now here we are given that SP is rupees 10 for 8 pencils. So SP of 8 pencils is rupees 8. So SP of 40 pencils Okay, this is 10. So, SP of 40 pencils, 10 upon 8 into 40. So, this goes exactly 5 times, giving you rupees 50 as the answer. Now, again, compare these two. Selling price is rupees 50 and cost price is rupees 32. So, obviously, we have gain. So, let's calculate the gain percent. Gain percent is gain upon CP into 100. How much is the gain? 50 minus 32 is 18 and CP is 32 into 100 or 18 upon 32 into 100. If you calculate this, this will come out to be 56.25 percent. So this is the answer for the second question. So once more, whenever these two quantities are same, just take the LCM of the two quantities and assume the number of items to be those many. Then use the first condition to find the cost price of these many items. Use the second condition for finding the selling price of these many items and just compare them to find the gain percent or loss percent in the whole transaction. Now this step assumes importance here because you have to assume the total number of pencils to be the LCM of the two numbers given here. Let's see the third question. Here we are given that the selling price of 10 items is same as cost price of 11 items. Now, whenever these, these kind of questions come in the exam, I've already posted one shortcut for this, but I'll take up the traditional method because understanding results from traditional method only. After that, you can go for the short trick also. Here we need to assume that the cost price of each item is rupees x. Suppose we assume that the cost price of each item is rupees x. Now if we have the cost price as rupees x and the condition which is given here is SP of 10 items is equal to cost price of 11 items. This is given in the question as statement. Cost price of each item is x. So cost price of 11 items is 11x. So both of them that is selling price of 10 items and cost price of 11 items is 11x now. What about, see, selling price of 10 items we have already found out and what about the cost price of 10 items? Cost price of 1 item is x, so for 10 items it is 10x. So now you see the two things we have obtained here. Selling price of 10 items is 11x and cost price of 10 items is 10x. So when selling price is greater than the cost price, we have gain and gain comes out to be SP minus CP that is 11x minus 10x that is x. And after this the process is very simple because once we have found out the gain and we know the cost price then we can find the gain percent by using a simple relation gain upon CP 200, gain is x and what about the CP? CP is 10x here multiplied by 100. Simple calculation x cancels out, 1 0 cancels out, 10% is the gain on the whole. 
So friends, three problems which are very important, very, very important for class 8 students because understanding is what is required to solve these problems because most of the students, you know, they read the uh, statement and uh, feel a little bit of discomfort while solving profit and loss problems. So for more profit and loss problems, keep uh, you know, watching the channel and uh, you can see the commercial mathematics playlist in which I have posted a number of videos uh, including shortcuts on profit and loss. So if you like all these and uh, you are enjoying uh, the you know shortcut tricks in mathematics which are useful for competitions then subscribe the channel and uh, do share the links with your friends also.